what about uh, the tokyo chef ah okay uh, so so do you want to talk about the stanford professor because because that is no, chronological we'll so, right okay we'll begin yeah. with the uh, stanford professor and then the yeah story. yeah yeah so uh, the reason i wanted to tell you that is uh, because the tokyo chef comes later in the story sure so i'll talk to you about the stanford professor uh, now you know uh, you everybody must have heard of stanford university google came out of there and a whole bunch of startups um, uh, which were there but uh, very little a lot of people don't know that uh, just like google was a revolution there was an and it was a startup there was another startup which created a revolution in 1910 right. that too by indians which no one very few people know about uh, in fact i went for a, a few uh, attended a few classes in stanford and even while attending i was not aware that this there was a history of indian students in 1910 so this startup was called, uh, you know, I call it the Great Indian Freedom Startup, but it was actually called the Gadar Revolution. Uh, what happened was there was a brilliant young man by the name Lala Hardeyal, who was part of India House, who was Savarkar's, um, you can call it roommate or hostel mate in that hostel, India House. And uh, he escapes from London. Uh, he's one of the Pandavas. And, uh, and he ends up becoming Stanford as a professor. In fact, right. from what I understand, he was uh, Stanford University's first professor of Indian origin. Right. So that was the one. But that was his day job. His secret job was to plan a revolution in, uh, in India. And he named that the Gadar Revolution. Gadar means revolution, basically. Right. Yeah. And uh, he started the Gadar movement. He, he got some students from Berkeley, from Stanford, and grouped them together and created this startup, uh, which was in San Francisco. Right. And in this house called the Gadar House, uh, they had a printing press, and he was printing newspapers, speaking about, uh, about uh, you know, Indian freedom. Right. You have to also understand America was not connected with Britain at that time. So America didn't care, right. you know, what kind of stuff was going on over there, uh, because it was an independent country. And uh, he, his whole idea was based on a research which he had done with Savarkar in London, uh, where Savarkar came up with this book called the 1857, India's First War of Independence. Yes. He called India's 1857 war the first war of independence. Now, what happened over there was Savarkar said in his research while when he was a student in London, if the Indian soldiers in the British army go against the British, that's the day India will win freedom. Because the British is ruling based on the Indian soldiers who are working for them. So why not create a mutiny in them? Why not do something which they can go ahead and work against the British? So that's the whole basis of uh, uh, Savarkar's research. Mm -hmm. Now, what Lala Hardeyal did was nothing but executed that same story, or you can call it the cell algorithm or software, and he applied it uh, along with these students to create disharmony among the Indian soldiers uh, in India as well as abroad, because you know there were Indian regiments in Hong Kong, in Singapore, you know right. wherever the British were ruling. And uh, what he does over there, the Stanford professor is, um, um, you know, he from San Francisco uh, sends, uh, is is able to arrange arms and send people and all of those things, and. Uh, uh, and, and the revolt does happen. Unfortunately, there's a leak in the whole story. Mm. And uh, the very last minute, the armory guards were changed from Indians to Europeans. So in India, the Gadar movement failed. However, uh, in Singapore, the Gadar movement did succeed. But since it was just Singapore, they held it up for a week. But mm. lately, then everybody was, was captured and killed. But in Singapore, uh, the the British had a really, really hard time because of the Gadar movement. And also, also this, uh, this movement called the Gadar movement is actually very closely linked with Jallianwala Bagh, which my book talks about. Okay. 
So the story what we hear about why Jallianwala Bag happened and the research which I found it were very different. So mm -hmm. it has got everything to do with the Gadar movement. So that's what the Stanford professor is <laughs> all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit cittti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.